Max! Or Max? That's his name? He's cured. I forgot about him. Oh, Ooh. What? what the fuck? Why am I on top of a fucking tree? I don't know. Get down. Laura! You're good. You're cured. How the hell am I gonna get down? I don't know. Ask an answer. Uh. <sighs> Where the hell am I? You're on the island. I think, still? Yeah. You did it. You made it. Good work. Where the hell are my clothes? Oh, Clementine. You got to be kidding. Sorry, my my cat's okay. here. Gotta find Laura. Oh, oh, oh what is that outfit? <laughs> Max. So I think I was spot on with the theory. Um that guy with the burnt badge. I remember the the Hackett mother being like, oh, you only have your job as sheriff because that other person died in that accident or whatever. So that, that, that fills into the story. I'm guessing the children, the children got bit. No, Caleb got bit. He went back, bit, um, I don't know. You know how kids stick their fingers behind the cage, maybe maybe Caleb did that, got bit, went to his house, turned into a wolf, bit Kaylee and Chris Hackett. Then, then when the family found out, they're like, oh, we have to go kill the source. They went back, tried to set the thing on fire. It backfired. That guy, that guy burned to a crisp. And also, Silas got released. That's the- that's what happened. And ever since then, they've been trying to track him down to break the curse. And that girl- that lady has been trying to get us to do her bidding, helping us so that we can end up killing the Hackets for her. Sorry if that's obvious, I'm trying to- She's gone to the Harbinger Motel. Absolutely should have- should have done that. But no. What do we do now? We're just bopping around at this point. The party is not here. Or no. Caleb's not on the island, is he? She must have come back. Yep. But don't worry, she's safe for now. Don't put her hat on. Oh my god. This voice. <laughs> I can't. Um, okay. Swim to shore? 
Our boy, <laughs> our boy wants to swim to shore dressed like that. How far is shore? How far is shore? I don't, <laughs> I don't think you should be swimming in this condition. Um. He's, he's kind of good here though, isn't he? Caleb is not on the island. Or am I wrong? <sighs> Either way, swimming to shore... That's... That's kind of a big risk. Even for a normal person. Isn't there like a dead body underneath the water? Oh, there's a dead body under the water. Ah, no, but Jacob and Emma were safe when they were swimming, right? I don't know. Ah! Our boy is not a fighter. He's gonna get to shore. What's he gonna do? Our boy is not a fighter. Look at how he's dressed. You stay right there. Laura will come get you. We don't want any miscommunication. She's gonna go to the island, then he's gonna be gone. She's gonna be like, where's my boyfriend? He went, he swam to shore. He needs to stick to the plan. Our boy is not a fighter. You see him in that thing? Table, help me. I hope that was the right choice. I think him leaving would have like caused some miscommunication because they had a plan. Well, Stay on the island. Can't get much worse than it already is. Right? I'll come back and get you. Great. Just like the cartoons. Oh, yeah. It's been all night. Gives us a little time. How do you figure? They don't like water, remember? Right, right. Oh, we should have just been swimming in the lake all night. Ah. Uh, <laughs> and die of hypothermia? Honestly, yeah. If there was one boat, well, it would have been over. We're good now. <laughs> Night's not over yet. These fuckers know we're in here. And they're coming back first chance they get. Great news. Okay. All right. We gotta get a vantage point. Vantage point. Okay. I like her. I like her thinking. We've not been playing enough Jacob. I'm a little tilted. He's kind of an entertaining character. And I feel like... I feel like Dylan's being favored over that. And Dylan's not even all that in a bag of chips, you know? Jacob's felt like a bit of wasted potential. Same with Emma. There, there hasn't really been any character growth for either of them. I feel like when you start off with uh, Mike and Jessica, you kind of dislike them a little bit, but then you learn to love them. I have not gotten that with these, with uh, Jacob and Emma yet. Wait, where am I going? She said vantage point. I should go up the stairs then. Excuse me. God, you're tall. I just get on over there. I excuse me, Dylan. I was, I was going up there first, but it's fine. No problem. Where's Nick at? Nick would be cured right now, right? Because, would he be cured? I don't know. How long has this guy been here? Ancestral portrait, large and overbe overbearing. This regal oil painting of Septimus Hackett holds pride of place on the lodge's chimney column. A long time ago. Long enough ago that it was okay to have an oil painting made of yourself. I kind of want an oil painting of me now. Yeah, that'd be cool. Too expensive though. Um, I guess, are we, do we have everything? Uh, prepare for attack, right? I don't know. Let me, oh, let me keep looking. Maybe I should keep looking. Right? 
Or is that like gonna kill time? Oh, look at the family. They didn't ask for this. That's sad. Hmm. I'll just check this room and then if not, it is what it is. What's that? She said we need a vantage point. Rip Ian. Poor Ian. Some camp mascot to kick it before camp starts. Oh. Mm. A memorial to the deceased camp mascot Ian. From the look of the drawing, Ian was a sheep, though nobody met him this year. Insight. Sounds about right. Oh. We have a camp mascot? Well, no. Not anymore. Didn't. You didn't hear? H hear what? He died before we got to camp. Uh, bummer. Yep, Chris ate him. Tragic. Is that all we is that all we needed from here? Maybe some more clues. Who names their sheep Ian? Where have I seen this emblem before? Uh, discarded jewelry thrown off in a shuffle. The inscription reveals that it belongs to Bobby Hackett. Not anymore! What is it? A ring. With a crest on it. Oh, very fancy. You can never pull it off. Mm. Sorry. Shut up, Dylan. You get too much screen time. You're you're being favorited by the writers. I remember Mr. H's cheesy ass announcements. Whoa. Shh, chill. Careful with that, that's a camp relic. Relax, it's dead anyway. Ah. RIP megaphone. Are we just here to make jokes? Let me go to that vantage point. Let me go to that vantage point. There's nothing else around. Let's prepare for the attack, I guess. That just sounds so forward. You make it sound all final standy. Not everyone's even here. Let's do it. Every desk and Donna through the summer. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Oh God. We're here to lead the way. Like mates for life, we're proud to say. Sick. Shout at Stratton, shout out loud. We're hacketeers. Oorah. Two months and you never learn the words? You're a camp counselor. How do you not know the words? Here we go. Here we go. Showtime, motherfuckers. I guess. We don't have silver, though, do we? Jacob! Still, still naked. Why didn't Jacob stick with Ryan again? I just wish I could tell you I'm sorry. More than anything. Tell who? Just one, one more night together. Oh my god. Too much to ask for. <laughs> Shit. Stop crying, you big baby. It's okay. <gasps> it's 
okay. You got played. It happens. It happens. I don't know what to do. Oh. God, I love him. <laughs> What is going on out there? We well, that's morning? all we got? Oh, that poor boy! Morning. Hey. Morning. Earthquake? What the? Caleb? We can't fight that. We can't fight that. We can't fight it. We can't fight it, dude. Let's go, let's go. That thing's gonna trample us. It just bursted through the chimney. I know when I'm outmatched. It's Caitlyn. We gotta let her in. Well, we can't. The office door's locked from the outside. But there must be something we can well, do. Yeah, but what? Let her in. Help. Help! Silver shells. Good looking out. How if do you- If we can time it right, we can give them to her if she passes. If she passes. I'm not following, but okay. If if you can do that. What? I don't I don't know what? What was what, what are my options? Oh no, I'm stupid. Oh, why did I choose that? I should have jumped out the window. What am I doing? I thought this meant like barricade something. I don't We still got this. We're not dead. We're not dead. Um, run. Caitlin, this way. Where would? Where were you? All right, go over there. We have to, we have to. We don't have anything to defend ourselves. No, we need that. We need to go to them. We need to go to them. I'm sorry. Oh, I don't want to split up from Dylan. It's silver. Good. Hey, I'm here. We actually, we have something to work with now. Do it again. Was that was that Caleb? Oh, Dylan. He 
You got it? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. I hope that wasn't Nick. A. Oh, he ha he's had a terrible day. He just lost his whole family. Um Inquisitive. So what exactly happened six years ago? There was a fire that wiped out dozens of people, and now there's werewolves and a ghost that roams the woods looking for her lost baby boy. Which I've just put together is Silas. Oh, shit. <sighs> it's a long story. Yeah. No, it's not. There was a fire. Silas the wolf boy escaped, bit a bunch of your family. You failed to stop him. Be nice. Be nice. What happened in the past doesn't matter right now. Uh, it kind of does, actually. We need to know what we're up against, at least. What we're up against is a feral boy turned werewolf for the last six years has avoided being found. No matter what we did. Every full moon we were out there looking. Every single one. Now the son of a bitch is finally here. So what we're up against is my only chance to end this thing for good. Okay. So how do you even know where he is? How the hell are we gonna find him just driving down the middle of the road? We need the gun, we need the gun. I'm sorry, we have to at this point. He's on the roof, I can't reach the gun. Forget that, just get it out. Fine, fine. <laughs> there we go, teamwork. Nice. Where's Jacob? Where did he go? He kind of just disappeared. He's gotta be nearby. <sighs> Let's look around. Are you crazy? We have to. He's gotta finish this. Jacob, are you good? Are we there yet? <laughs> oh my god. You're okay. Been better, but yeah. We got work to do, it's not over. Over here. Got some blood. <sighs> Leads through there. What the hell happened back here? Whoa. This is where we went off the road two months ago. You're trying to decide if you should shoot me in the head right now. I won't. Go ahead. If that's what you want, I won't stop you. I won't. What? No. Why would I ever? Normally, I'd have werewolf's blood cover our scent, but I'm all out, so we're high risk. Oh, that's what it was. We could be killed. You ready to end this? Yeah. Let's do this. Let's fucking do this. High five me, Travis. Go team. Hey, hands in. It all makes sense now. 
You've got wolf blood? Out in the woods. Travis just reminded me. I forgot about that. Um, you should take it. There's not enough for the both of us. No, um, I, can't, I can't do that. It's yours. You've been through a lot more than I have. Anyone deserves to get out of this alive, it's you. Honestly. Uh, I don't know. Give to Ryan, take file. Honestly, she's kind of... He's kind of right. We've been through the most, but I think we're also the most capable. So Ryan should hold on to it. Ryan's still healing, too. This is yours. She's been training for this moment. Sure. He hasn't. Yeah, we'll be fine. I got this. We should have given it to Travis, to be honest. Pungent. Rather stinky than dead. I mean, not. I'm, I'll sure, I'm sure you'll be fine. Yes. There's no way to share it. They can't rub our, rub their faces together or something. I really like them both. I don't. If it comes down to it, I don't want either one of them to get hurt. But. Laura is capable. I would have given it to him. Damn, this place has got some uncool vibes. Podcast didn't do it justice. You know the half of it. This is where I saw her. Her? I thought she was... I thought Max hit her, but then I was out here and she was oh. something else. Who? The old woman, she was saying something over and over again. Silas. Oh my gosh, she was saying Silas. No, that's impossible who you're talking about. I saw her too. In the rum tunnels. Wow. Silas Silas's mother. I think. Oh my god. Oh my god. The whole story is together. Is coming together. Who was she? She ran a traveling sideshow called Harem Scarum. Came here six years back. She kept her son in a cage. Mm. Called him Silas the Wolf Boy. Try to make money off of him. Died in a fire. Some say she never left. The hack of Hackett's quarry. Yep. We've been looking for Silas ever since. How did the fire start? They started it. Tried to end the curse, probably. Really? You're still hiding stuff now? <sighs> you blew half the head off my niece, Kaylee Hackett. Mm. One of the kindest, gentlest souls to ever walk this earth. But she was a monster. All she wanted to do was help that little boy. Locked in a cage by that freak show witch. What did she do? She just wanted to help him. Travis. She convinced Caleb to start a fire. Oh. It's just a distraction. It's May Bales. Give him enough time to get Silas out of his cage and give him his freedom. It's a dumb plan. That's not what happened. No. So within minutes, everybody was dead. Mm. Never see Hayburn, Liza, whole crew. Kaylee managed to get Silas to freedom. But Caleb got bit in the process. Mm. It's rough. Kids make dumb choices. They don't know stuff. They have good intentions, but... <sighs> Ugh. That's why you've been hunting him. Silas, I mean. Every full moon for six fucking years. Some hunter you are. Stop. His whole family has just died. I 
This, this is all that's left. Jesus Christ. This is such a sad situation for the Hackett's. I feel so bad Any for sign? him, especially. Negative. Damn, I never saw any of this. I didn't even know this was here. She's here. Shit. I'm sorry, that was... Close. We must be close. Did you both see, see it too? Kind of wish I hadn't. Same. That's her. Yep, we've seen that. That must be it. Careful. Is that him? Oh, he's back in his old cage, too. We have to put him down. What's wrong? We've got to. What are you waiting for? Shoot, you stupid girl! We have to, Laura. Look at it. About this? That is Shoot. not. That is. That's not a good life. It had to end. It's sad, but. Please, let's just. Let's just go before we. We have to see him like that in human form. It's too late for that. That's not living. That's just a sad life. Ugh. Achievement unlock the white wolf. That, like, shook me. That's really sad. I bet you think you have it all figured out. I bet you think you're fucking clever. I tried to help you. I tried to warn you. I even started to like you. Did you? You were kind of mean. No, not after this. I will not forget what you made them do to my Silas. I've been with you all night, and I'm not about to stop now just because the night's come to an end. No. Whenever you hear a noise in the dark, a whisper from the shadows, the breath on the back of your neck, that's gonna be me. I'll be there. Now I will never leave you. Girl, bye. Girl, bye. You were you were selling your son as a sideshow. That's crazy. She put him in that life. Achievement unlocked. Rough night. Achievement unlocked. Chapter ten. Oh, it's it's over. We we literally killed. Oh, <laughs> I don't know why I assumed there'd be more. Is Nick okay? I think we shot Nick. Nick's done.
Max, having survived the night, Max was cured. Ryan shot Chris Hackett. Woo! Look at this music. Bobby was mauled to death by his werewolf brother. You love to see it. It's kind of, it's sad. Chris Hackett was killed when his favorite counselor, Ryan, shot him with silver. Hey. Constance, Laura shot Constance face off in a struggle with the gun. Jebediah, Jebediah was choked to death by a vengeful Laura. Hey, hey, hey. Kaylee, all. Kaylee's daughter was shot and killed by Laura, who mistook her for werewolf Chris. Sorry. He lived! Successfully avoided infection, freed from the Hackett's basement, and survived the... Nick is alive! He survived the night when Laura killed Silas. Nick's werewolf close Chris was lifted. Abigail made it to safety. Wow! Boo! Emma survived the night. Not even gonna read the rest. Dylan! Survived the night by taking refuge in K from Caleb in the kitchen. Caitlin survived the night by killing Caleb, curing all those infected by his lineage. Caleb Hackett. Caleb shot. Caitlin shot Caleb dead. Ah. Survived the encounter with Silas and finally saw an end to the curse that haunted his family for six years. Ryan was cured of the werewolf infection when he shot Chris and managed to survive the show showdown with the white wolf. Laura killed Silas with a silver shell, curing every infected person who survived the night. Oh. He killed Silas, the dog boy, in his nest. The curse of Hackett's quarry is broken. Uh, he has no family to go back to, Travis. Oh, that makes me sad. Was there a way to save Caleb? Oh, poor guy. Okay, here acres we go. Acres and acres of haunted woods. If you say so. Oh my god, I just listened to five minutes of that for this? I just got peanut butter popped. Welcome to Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. Welcome back to Bizarre Yet Bonafide. Anton, today I'm actually going to pass you some light writing. Okay, you're going to make me read this? Mm hmm. All right, um, this is. What you're seeing now is a copy of a letter that Kaylee Hackett wrote oh, okay. to her grandma. Okay, here is allegedly. some cool stuff. <sighs> All right, uh, this seems like more of a you job, but I suppose right, I can read I, this. Right, but I feel like if some of the evidence comes from your mouth, it will have more clout. Right, okay, here we go. Gammy, how long are we gonna drag this shit out? Mm. I know family is the most important thing, but I wanna know what's outside the forest, outside this damn house and camp, and I sure as hell know that ain't about to happen because of who we are. Maybe we can explain what's going on. Fucking show people. Then they'll know we got no control over it. I know you just trying to protect us, but one day you won't be here no more. And right now it feels like we stuck in a dark hole. I can't sleep, Gammy. Or if I do, I dream about that fucking fire. We were just dumbass kids back then. I wish it never happened. Love, K, X, O, X, O. That took a turn. Mm. Yes. Dream about that fucking fire. Does that not read as the haunted scribblings of someone who saw something that they shouldn't have seen? Yeah, no, I'm fully creeped out. She was clearly going through some stuff. And this is legit? I mean, I don't know why someone would fake it, then again, I can't verify any of this. So, you've got to suspend your disbelief slightly. Man, this poor girl. Yeah, there was something going on, something eating away at her. And that's what I want to explore. Okay, well, consider my disbelief suspended for now. Okay, I guess that's the end of the quarry. What an incredible game. I had so much fun playing it. 
Decision-based games are incredible. Decision-based horror games are even better. I have to say though, when it comes to character development, a lot of it did not compare to Until Dawn. I, when it comes to Until Dawn characters, I will fight tooth and nail to defend any one of them, except Ashley. Any one of them, they're just that good. The, the character development from, from start to finish, you hate most of them, you end up loving them. Mike, annoying, abrasive, rude. The end, the baddest, coolest character in the game. Jessica, you realize she's kind of fun. She's not just this little diva. She's fun. You learn to like her. Emily, she actually, she goes through a lot. She survives a lot. She earns her spot. Chris, Chris is just cool from the start, I think. But enough about Until Dawn. Let's talk about these characters. Jacob was my favorite, and it's such a shame that obviously the writers did not favor him after halfway through the game. They, it's like they used Jacob at first, like we like Jacob, and then they gave all that good writing to Dylan, who I really did not like in the beginning, slowly started to like, and then that was it. I was hoping for some kind of like romance development because if anything, I would have liked him and Jacob to kind of develop something. I thought, I felt like that was where the story was going and then it just got erased and suddenly Laura was flirting with Ryan. And let's see, Emma, Emma, there wasn't a lot of character development. Like I said, she could have been an Emily. She could have been so hated to really earning that like tough girl attitude and she just she never lived up to that potential and that that's very unfortunate caitlin caitlin is one of those characters that was just cool through the whole thing she had a little bit of a moment where she was catty and she had emma do the kiss nick or jacob thing which nick also a bit of a slept on character he didn't have a lot of time but that's fine um abigail she was good. She was sweet. I wish she wasn't pushed around so much. Did she, they, she didn't really get her moment either. A lot of these characters had potential, but they never got to live up to their moment. The only time I really felt like in a moment with a character was with Ryan and Laura. And that's mostly when they were together. I think it's too bad that... Oh, and, and Dylan and Caitlyn's moment in the junkyard. That one was really good. But other than that, there's just a lot of characters who did a whole lot of nothing. And that's unfortunate because I really wanted to just fall in love with them over time. Travis, I really feel bad about Travis. His whole family is gone. I don't know if there was a way to save Caleb. I don't know if there was a way to save any of the other Hackett's without getting anyone else killed. But I... I'm, I'm really sad for him. Like, I really truly think the Hackett's were a family of really sweet, good-hearted people. And that all came to an end six years ago when some of the family members got infected. They had to, they had to keep the younger kids away. Chris had to stay away. They had to seclude themselves. They, no one could find out about their secret. You knew what would happen if people found out that they were werewolves, right? Like their whole family would be wiped out and that's exactly what happened and what they didn't want to happen. It's just, it's unfortunate that kids made a mistake. The whole family had to pay for it. And really these kids forced their hand. They, they didn't listen to the sheriff. They, they went against the rules of staying locked away so that they'd be safe. They did everything they could to keep those kids from finding out and they still went against them and really just forced their hand. I, I think that's really sad and I wish things could have ended differently, but maybe there was a way to keep all of them alive, but in the moment it really didn't seem like it because they were just so bent on protecting their family that there was nothing else I could do as the player defending myself. It's just, it's really unfortunate, but I'm glad Travis understood in the end. I just wish there was a way, or I wish I could have known a better way. I'm sure you could keep them alive. I didn't know what the options were. I was, I was panicking, I was scared, and I wanted my campers to live. So, if there was, I'm sorry about that. But other than that, everyone lived, and it was nice. I wish there was more of like a, 
like a police uh, investigation clip like they had at the end of Until Dawn. I think that would have really put this game together, tied it up nicely. But there wasn't any of that. I That's a little unfortunate. It felt a little rushed in the end. But other than that, good game. A lot of wasted character potential. But what we did get was really good and I was having so much fun with it. And the story was so nicely discovered over time. I can't be mad at the story. It was a great story and I hope they keep making games with this much thought and care put into them. Just focus a little more on the characters next time, Supermassive Games, please, because I loved Jacob. Jacob was so fun and entertaining during the first half of the game and then he just disappeared and the last scene we got from him was him crying in the woods and I felt so bad. And that doesn't get to be resolved at the end of the game, and it's just really unfortunate. But whatever, it's done. I did it. Everyone's alive at the end of the day. And that's that's all you can really ask for, uh, except the hack, it's minus Travis. Um, yeah, it's, it's great. I like this game. It is so much fun. I can't wait to force my friends to play it so I can laugh at all the choices they make that are wrong. But yeah, good playthrough. I don't have to replay and save everyone. Everyone's still alive, so that's, that's good news for me. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next game. So bye.